And so Cicero, in the year 64, reached the pinnacle of Roman power within the Republican Constitution. He ran for the office of consul. And in the year 64, during the campaign, he found himself face to face with a candidate who represented the most radical strains in the populist faction of Roman politics, a man named Catiline. And in the year 64, the campaign itself turned towards extremism and violence. Catiline ran for office on a radical populist platform. He promised to redistribute land and, just as importantly, cancel debts. Now, think of what this means in terms of a political platform. Catiline runs for office promising to redistribute land and to cancel debts. Now, imagine if you're a creditor and there's someone running for consul who's promising to cancel the debts. That is a radical promise. If you're a debtor, then you like this platform. Imagine in our own society, if someone ran for presidential office on the platform of canceling the debts. Imagine that. Who would oppose it? The banks, people with capital. Who would support it? People with mortgages, people with credit card debt, people with college loans. This is a platform that would be, even in our own context, extremely dangerous. And as unthinkable as it may be, in the Roman world, it was a reality that a major politician was campaigning on a promise to undo the relations of debt and credit that existed at that moment in society, arguing that they had become usurious, that these loans had been made unfairly, and that they were oppressing the poor classes, that they were oppressing the common man, who was the backbone of the republic. And it was a very real political platform in a society with deep divisions of wealth. That kind of radicalism is inherently dangerous in a political society. And certainly in Roman society, it threatened to tear the fabric of this world apart. And the campaign in 64 became itself full of extremism and radical claims and tensions. And through the support of the wealthy classes, Cicero, as a polished speaker, as, a, as an accomplished politician, as someone who campaigned on a platform of social harmony to preserve the interests and property rights of those with land and those with capital, was carried on to victory and entered the office of consul. Mm -hmm.